The Australian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel broke down in FP1 and drove back to the pit lane on a scooter. The FIA fined him €5,000. Sebastian would later recover that money when he used the same scooter to ram raid a Sports Direct. Mick Schumacher almost ram raided Yuki Tsunoda's arse before he swerved to avoid a crash behind the safety car. Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll showed everybody why drivers who pay their way into Formula One are brain dead morons. Lewis Hamilton stuck behind George Russell said on the radio, you've put me in a difficult position after realizing he might actually have to overtake his teammate instead of being let through. Ted Kravitz got ambushed by happy Australian fans who forced him to do a shoey. He then ripped his shirt off, fired a gun into the air and did a Line of cocaine off some Aussie broads tits. Sebastian Vettel, after breaking down in FP1, crashing in FP3, then decided to spin out of the race. Martin Brundle said that's highly unusual. That's highly unusual. Is it? Highly unusual. But the big story of the weekend, congratulations to Charles Leclerc on winning the 2022 Formula One World Championship. I mean, basically. Max Verstappen is now 43 points behind. George Russell is actually the one who's second in the championship. And Mercedes have got a good strategy. You see, just like in Bahrain, they sit and wait for Red Bull and Ferrari to fuck themselves out of the race and then swoop in to get a decent result. No crazy moments, no wild moves. We don't have to start a race war on Twitter. Nobody has to get decapitated. Clever. Big brain strategy. But what did the lunatics on Twitter think? Well, obviously, the big thing was Max breaking down. Because we all know Mercedes fans watch the races cock in hand, waiting for something bad to happen to Red Bull. So when it did, they all piled on. Max Verstappen out. Ha 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 ha. Karma, I love it. Karma is a bitch and I fucking love it. Karma is a bitch. Verstappen out. Karma's a bitch. Karma comes to you again. Max Verstappen out equals karma. I said it before. I'll say it again. Karma is a bitch. Ha 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 ha. Have you people learned nothing? I've been screaming about this for two videos in a row, but they still don't understand. So I made a diagram to explain it. Basically, it works like this. Red Bull DNF. Bruh, bruh. Red Bull have not only retired from the but see their other driver tumble out of the points. Then Mercedes fans are pure knobs on Twitter. Then Mercedes have a bad weekend. Big shock here in Saudi Arabia tonight. Lewis Hamilton, for the first time since Brazil 2017, has been knocked out in Q1. No, it's I'm speechless. Red Bull fans are pure knobs on Twitter. Red Bull DNF. Max Verstappen has pulled over to the side of the track. You see how this works? We are currently here in the cycle. So wind your fucking neck in. After Verstappen retired, pretty much fuck all else happened. Which is a shame because this is the one race of the season where people in the UK have to drag themselves out of bed at six o'clock in the morning. I complained about that in a video on TikTok. It still lights out at six o'clock in the fucking morning. If they could have changed one thing, then the entire population of Australia jumped on me. Our oh, little baby has to wake up early. Poor baby has to wake up. Ah, oh, Diddums, Suki Pommy. Oh, look, a whinging pom. Have a whinge. Video was great until you complained like a little bitch about waking up at 6 a.m. Have a souk, mate. Have a souk, honestly. Jesus, having a fucking souk. Does anybody know what that word means? I've literally never heard that word in my entire life. Stop whining. Most races are 1 a.m. for us Aussies. All right. Jesus. Now I understand. Every other country in the world has it worse than us. But just get a VPN. Is that not what they're for? Oh, apparently Surfshark doesn't let you change the fabric of time. Well, it should. So Ferrari's running away with the championship. Red Bull have a car capable of winning the championship, but not finishing a race. Mercedes are sorting their problems out and were much more competitive this weekend. And Lawrence Stroll has put Lance Stroll up for adoption. But nobody wants that twat. He's going to have to leave him on somebody's doorstep. I'm extremely angry. 